Well, good morning. So uh, it's 6.27 and I'm just boiling up some coffee and we're going to hit the road as soon as I drink that and have a little bite to eat. Um, everything's, uh, I'm putting everything back together. It was a good night's sleep. It was clear the whole night. Um, the half moon was out, which was, uh, which was kind of neat. I was surprised at how much light that gave off. I woke up at 1.30, even thought about getting on the water uh, late at night. But then the sleeping bag was nice and toasty, so I didn't do that. Anyway, uh, yeah, breakfast. I'll get the boat ready, and I'll uh, turn you back on when I'm in the boat. Back for now.
We are on our way. Not much to see because of the fog, but you can see the sun's wanting to come through. Anyway, I'll turn you off for now. That's kind of cool, the sun's coming up. Hope you can see that. Sandbar. Yeah, we're still on Isaac Lake. We're trying to make it up to the point to make a right turn for the long part of the lake and I mean it's long Okay, we made the right turn onto Isaac Lake. Now we just got 30 or 40 kilometers to go down here. You can see it's quite the view. Just do the spin. So I'm just going to drum out a rhythm now and I'll turn you back on if there's something to see uh, more than uh, <laughs> this. Just having a bite to eat here at Isaac Lake. I'll try not to talk with my mouth full. Apparently that bugs people. But I kind of leave the social etiquettes at home when I'm out here. How's that view? Look at that. Amazing. Awesome stuff.
Graham just texted and asked how the paddling weather was. You cannot get much better than this. I don't need, uh, I guess if a storm came up and pushed me, that would be good. But um, this is just awesome. Hope everything's going well in the UK there for Graham and Tony and all the rest of you. Laura as well. Liz. Twiggy, I hope you're doing okay, sticking to the carnivore thing. Yeah. I just finished off my second ribeye, so hasn't killed me yet. I think I'm doing okay with that. Anyway, I gotta keep making tracks. I wanna try and get Isaac Lake done today. Um, I'd camp down at the chute if it's uh, possible. So, um, this is going to be a long day. Just, this is all it's going to be. <laughs> Paddling. Okay, enough of me for now. Well, I'm still uh, going on Isaac Lake. I made up my mind that I'm gonna finish this today. And way the hell down there, that's the end of it. A lot of paddling. This will be the longest uh, single day paddling I think I've ever done. So I can't give up now. Anyway, I'll just give you the spin. We came all the way from up there somewhere. Yeah, the Bowron's still majestic. And on that note, I'm gonna get back to drumming out this rhythm. I'll catch you at the end. Whew. Getting there. Just give you the tour. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, the sun's just dropping now. It's going to get dark really quickly. But that's the end down there. So, turn you on when you get I suppose you can see the waterfall. Anyway, getting closer. Well, looks like I made it to the end of Isaac Lake, boys and girls. Uh, there's some campers in that there, so I don't want to intrude on their privacy with whipping out the camera and walking all over the place. But uh, yeah, so what time is it?